Steve Schmidt here, Schmidt Hobby Art. Today we're going to hook in one of our inline poles. We're not going to do the, uh, the corner pole. We've already done, done that in a different video. Today we're looking at our inline pole, and our inline pole basically has an eye bolt on it facing out where the anchor is going to go. Um, and if you look at the back of the pole, you'll see the, um, the eye bolt has an extra four or five inches coming out. This cable actually will rest on the back of that eye bolt and they come down. This is, if you look at my row, this is the north to south row. So these, this is what it would look like on the north to south side. On the east and west, the eye bolt would be the other way around and the cable would actually go through the eye bolt. But on, on the north and south side, this is what it would look like. Um, and the cable basically comes down and we have something called a hop tensioner in the line. And basically we pull it up, you'll see the hop tensioner, we'll put the cable right through it. As we push it through, there's a cap that'll pop out and there's a cover that'll go right onto the cable. More likely the cover will fall off like usual, right here. And the cover really doesn't make a difference because the cable is usually too long anyway. And we'll have to cut the cable. So right now I'll just do it by hand. Now I've got it hand tight but we still need to pull this uh, post in. So next we're going to use some tools. This is the Haven strip. We use this quite often. It opens up to get a grip on the cable. I'll actually put it right here. As it closes, you put the security latch on it. And now it's got a grip to come along the ground. So our next item is a come along. Basically, I'll hook the top of the come along right in. And the bottom of the come along, we have this little attachment, a little extra hook extension. Uh, basically, this hook extension, you do not want to hook it into the anchor itself. You want to hook it up here, right here in the hop tensioner. So we just add it on to this. If you don't use it, this box will get, get into the way of the hop tensioner. If you do use it, it gives you some extra room. And now you're not so tight. If it wasn't tight enough, you can now, with everything hooked onto it, you can try to loosen this a tiny bit and lift it up more to tighten the slack out of it, get the lines halfway tight. And now basically, we tighten it. As we're tightening it, tightening it, this line will pull through the hop tension. And that's pretty much it. You can take it as far as you want to. I usually do it until you get a crack in the back, you know, quarter inch crack in the back here. That way you know you've pulled it tight enough and then you leave it because then all the cables go up and then that'll pull it in again. And that's pretty much it. Now you can unhook it and go to the next.